just uh, trying to make it back to my Airbnb and just showing the neighborhood. Let's see. It gets, it's blocked that way. So let me see if I can go this way. So there's the interstate. And so I'm going to my $250 a night Airbnb in, well, it's close to Ocean Park, I would say, but technically the address is San Juan. And I do have a lot of compassion for these people still rebuilding after Hurricane Maria. And I don't mean to disparage them, but I think the traveler should be aware, as I was not, of really the condition and the quality of an Airbnb and the price here in Puerto Rico is uh, just astronomical compared to the quality. I am paying $250 a night for something that's probably the quality of a one-star motel, maybe a two-star motel. Um, I did hear seven gunshots last night. Now, it could have been it could have been somebody just playing with a gun, but um, Puerto Rico has ranked 16th in the world for its murder rate, and I think it's almost number one in uh, female homicide rate as you um, compare it to per capita is how they determine that statistic but um I'm going the wrong way on a one-way street this one, okay this looks like the beginning of the street um and mostly this uh, female homicide is their partners now this is a it looks like a mentally ill man that stays down on this end of the street and he kind of guards the corner, but he's also interacting with things that he's seeing uh, that just are not there. So, but as far as I know, he has is not violent. So, um, these poor people really live in disparaging circumstances and uh, a lot of these buildings have not been rebuilt since Katrina and I mean uh, Maria and a lot of people are inhabiting them in, in just the condition that they're in falling down around them because it's it's shelter over their heads so um I thank God that I have a better life. And the people are very friendly, just extremely friendly people. I know there's a high crime rate here, a lot of theft. And of course the Airbnb people have cancellation policies that really, uh, really take you to the bank. <clears throat> um, and they know they can get away with it, so they will uh, make you part with your money uh, on, on an extreme level. And it was shocking because I, I have been an Airbnb host for a long time, and I would just uh, jump through hoops to uh, provide a lot of comfort measures for my... Let me see if this gentleman will let me pass here. Uh, to... Uh, to make my guests comfortable but uh, it's like I arrived at this one and the dryer didn't work 
and I didn't have a bowl for like salads or cereal, which is most of what I eat. Uh, didn't have washcloths, which I don't know, they don't, don't believe in washcloths here or something. I've always bathed with washcloths, so, and wash my face and stuff, so it's, that was something I asked for, and then people kind of look at you like, oh, you're high maintenance, aren't you? You, you want a bowl or a, a lamp or a washcloth or, you know, a pillow or a blanket, you know, gee, thank you, sir, thank you. So, uh, so I came and here is where I'm staying, which is uh, a, a newly remodeled unit there. And uh, people are really cashing in uh, remodeling these, these uh, hurricane damaged buildings and then charging $250 a night for them. So I'll say, really uh, making a killing there. So parking is here on the street and up on the sidewalk, just as I have done. And not too easy to find sometimes. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go see our house. Come on. Come on, I've got a old doggy Sam Sam that's gotten into something dead. I would need to wash him off. Come on, Sam Sam. Come on. Come on, boo boo. Oh, he's Pero Viejo. This is my old dog. Okay, we entered through this gate. Come on, Sip Sip. We walked down the. Come on. Down the little walkway. They recommended that. I take the unit with the yard because I had a dog and this is the yard. Since the hurricane uh, came, Hurricane Maria scattered uh, all the chickens and roosters to the wind. So now they have just a lot of wild roosters and chickens everywhere and you will wake up to the sound of roosters all the time and sometimes in the middle of the night uh, a lot of people raise cocks here because cockfighting although it's still illegal is still a very big deal here so uh, it's just been a lifelong tradition and a lot of Puerto Ricans are not willing to give that up. Uh, come on, Sam, come on. So I'm sorry I haven't cleaned up, but uh, yeah, I came in and um, the uh, mattresses had the little plastic covers on them, so like this. This is, of course, they try to maintain their mattresses and uh, um, it did have a television, uh, air conditioning. Uh, the last one I went to uh, was 156 a night, and it had no air conditioning. And the guy didn't really mention that. It's just kind of hidden in the little check boxes. It has a, uh, a fridge and a little kitchenette. And uh, I didn't have any bowls. I had to ask for bowls. Uh, my luggage is strewn about because there's no closets or uh, anywhere to hang anything. So I kind of, that the dryer was out, I had to kind of hang my stuff around. Uh, they did provide uh, some wash and shampoo, which I didn't have at the last place. And there are some drawers here. But uh, yeah, this is $250 a night in Puerto Rico. And uh, yikes. Thanks for watching. This is how I'm leaving it. The key. I'm putting over the seal. And. Uh, I'm uh, taking that garbage out. Those are their sheets. This is the mattress that is clean. 
and the pillows they furnished I asked for one extra pillow a blanket and a lamp uh, of course I didn't have any cleaning supplies so uh, I really would have just been sweeping and mopping with with the paper towels there's the mini fridge there's the microwave there's the sink the coffee pot and the items that were here when I got here two bowls two little cups the little utensils and uh, there's the hot plate Again, there were no cleaning supplies. Uh, uh, the bathroom is here. There was one towel provided, and I, I did get a little hair bleach on that, so I bought another towel to replace it. There were no washcloths. The garbage has been emptied. The toilet is okay. Although there were no cleaning supplies, it, there was a cleaning brush. So I just don't want them to say, I left uh, a mess. There's under the bed. There's on top of the bed. There's the TV. And again, there's no drawers or closets or anything. And here I am turning the air conditioner off. Okay, I arrived to find the $158 a night apartment like this, but no air conditioning. And this man is being very deceptive trying to rent this place without air conditioning. I had several conversations with him and he never mentioned that it did not have air conditioning. He just says, oh, there's a fan. So this is unacceptable. I'm leaving the place like I found it. It's in fine condition, but I'm not staying here. 